There seems to be near daily examples of incivility in the news, from political divides to conflicts on how best to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. There are ample opportunities to ignite social conflicts. If I've learned anything from my 30 plus years in science communication, it's that no one has ever changed their mind by getting in their face and telling them they're wrong. Clearly, a more wise approach is needed when attempting to resolve social conflicts and balance multiple viewpoints. But is wisdom a fundamental and unchanging characteristic? Can we, in essence, be trained for wisdom? It's not often that a person can claim to be an expert on wisdom, but, ah. <laughs> uh, but what does that mean from your area of expertise? That I'm probably the greatest fool of them all. <laughs> Well, I, I think there are many definitions for the term wisdom, but you're looking at it from more of a research and psychology perspective. So maybe you can help That's explain right. that to our listeners. How, how do you define wisdom in this circumstance? Well, in my lab and in many other labs in psychological science, we look often at metacognitive processes, so thinking about thinking, uh, things that help one make sense of challenging situations and make sense of yourself. So characteristics like intellectual humility, open-mindedness about change, consideration of different diverse perspectives, and attempt to balance them. And in addition to that, uh, often when psychologists talk about wisdom, they sometimes invoke this idea of moral uh, moral aspiration. So things like uh, search for conflict resolution or compromise if you're in a challenging conflict situation. Well, we try to train people to develop a third-person perspective on the daily events uh, to see if we can shift their wisdom, so to say, over time, so those metacognitive processes. So in essence, we did a randomized controlled trial pre-post design study uh, to see if we can increase wisdom-wide training. 